Looking back on the year I spent undiagnosed with Crohn's disease and the constant battle I had with not only my weight, but with food, got me thinking if Crohn's disease caused me to have an eating disorder without me realizing it. Let me know if what I'm going to talk about not only sounds familiar, but if you can relate to it as well. Welcome back to my channel, the only place for Crohn's and colitis tips, tricks and information. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a video. And if you want to join an exclusive community of people who receive tips and tricks on living with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, make sure you sign up to my newsletter by hitting the link in the description box below. Now let's just get straight into things. So first of all, let me define what an eating disorder is. It is when you have an unhealthy attitude to food and can involve eating too much or too little or you become obsessed with your weight and your body shape. Now I've never been obsessed with my body weight or my body shape and I've always had a very good and healthy relationship with food but in the year I was undiagnosed with Crohn's disease that is when I started to notice a change and start seeing food as an enemy. I would start to notice that every time I ate something a few hours later I would be in agony and experiencing symptoms and needing to rush off to the loo multiple times a day. So naturally what I started to associate is I started to associate food with pain. And what was the best way of not being in pain? It was not to eat. That is not the smartest decision and I didn't go off food completely as there were still foods I could eat and didn't cause me pain but my attitude and relationship to food did change and I did start to become obsessive about it. At the time, would I have said I had an eating disorder? No. Well, unfortunately, the reality is that I did and it wasn't picked up by my doctors for a very long time until I got diagnosed, regardless of the amount of times I said food was causing me pain. So did I have an eating disorder before my symptoms started? No. Did experiencing symptoms of Crohn's disease cause me to develop one? Yes. My relationship with food has had its ups and downs, but going on the liquid diet certainly helped in repairing that relationship with food. And I slowly started to see food as a friend and not as a foe. This is because going on the liquid diet not only gave my bowel a break, but you don't realize how good food looks, no matter what it is when you're not allowed to eat it. So being on the liquid diet for six weeks certainly helped me not only regain my appetite, but also helped my bowel have a break from processing all that food and then allowed me to start reintroducing foods that I would simply never eat on a usual basis. Everyone's relationship with food is different and so are the foods that we can and cannot tolerate. But if you feel that something is not quite right, especially around food and your mental health, then it's important to go see a doctor and a dietitian that can help take steps in helping you see food as a friend and not as the enemy. And that is pretty much all I have to say on this, but I do go into a lot more detail about my story and my fight with food in other videos, and I'll put the links to those in the description box below. And while you're checking out those videos, make sure you check out these videos for more useful tips, tricks and information for Crohn's and colitis. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a video, as well as leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you all in the next episode. Have a great day.